Today, Zambia played Comoros at the Women's Kosafa Cup Championship 2023 held in South Africa. So this was the quarterfinal, and whoever qualifies goes to the semifinal in this case, So which these are the last rounds of the tournament. And if you look at the game, it was one-sided, as you see most of the times when Zambia plays Comoros, because Zambia and Comoros usually meet quite a number of times, and the results are always the same. And here we are giving you just the highlights and voice over to avoid copyright reasons. So, and the first goal would not broadcast, but the rest of the goals will be given. So here, Comoros had to equalize because they were down by a goal, one goal to nil. So they had to equalize that to score a brilliant goal. This was a brilliant goal for Comoros. And this goal itself gave Comoros the desire to want to score more. Because, you know, once you are down and you come back, you score the first goal. That first goal gives you the, the idea to want to come back, you know. As a team, you get that morale. If you look at the coach, he had that morale wanting to now push the team to do more, you know, as it is. But the Copa Queens or the Copa Queens did not want that to happen because Copa Queens are the defending champions of the Kosafa Cup. So it would be tragic for them to just lose in the quarterfinals without going to the semifinals or the finals. So this one this year, we might get it as well. So the scoring of, of uh, Comoros led to Zambia actually trying to even push even more. Because, you know, as a defending champions, you've got a ranking or a prestige that you need to preserve. And this is what Zambia or Copa Queens were trying to do in this case. So the Copa Queens are ranked number four in Africa, behind Nigeria, South Africa, and Morocco. And just some weeks ago, Zambia played Morocco, two games home. Uh, both games were in Morocco. And Zambia won both games. One was a 6-1 game win, and the other one was, uh, I think, 2-0, two or three through new which shows that Zambia is in better form than Morocco. And if you look at South Africa, South Africa lost the uh, last Kosafa Cup to Zambia. And the reason why South Africa is ranked better than Zambia or Morocco is because of their ranking in the World Cup, as well as the last Africa Cup where they, where they performed and won Zambia and won the, Af the Africa Cup of Nation. So if you look at head-to-head, -head, Zambia has better odds compared to South Africa and and. Uh, Morocco, but for Nigeria, I think Nigeria plays better football at the moment, though we cannot compete because we don't play that much often. But for South Africa, we do play very much often due to the fact that we're in the same region, Kosafa. Now, the Copa Queens here did not want to relent because as they a draw for them is a lose in a way because they are the defending champions. So they kept on pushing and wanted to score even more goals. And the whole game as you are going to see, is the Copa Queens attacking and Comoros defending. Because the goal that Comoros scored was just a way of telling the Copa Queens to start attacking. And they kept on attacking because this game was just a matter of who can defend better and who can score better. So here, all the highlights, I'm giving you all highlights, but uh, look at how the Copa Queens were attacking. Every one of the highlights is Copa Queens attacking, and this is not biased in any way. I couldn't find any places where, where Comoros was attacking, and that is why... I was putting the Copper Queens. So this was almost a goal as well, as the Copper Queens were hungry for a second goal, very much hungry for a second goal. And once they got that second goal, it led to more goals. So this was a brilliant goal. This was uh, actually a third goal that they scored next. Second goal, we did not take it due to some technical reasons. We did not get the second goal. But here, Zambia scored the second goal, and the second goal led them to want to score more goals. As you see, the game ended in a 5-1 win for Zambia. So this was the third goal and it was a brilliant goal in any aspect. This could even be one of the goals of the tournament because it was a precise goal. It was well put and the player was composed while playing, while scoring that goal. Which just tells you quite very well that the Copa Queens actually have it all together and when they play football they play to win. This is one thing that I know about the Copa Queens which is better as compared to the male team. The Copa Queens have a fighting spirit Whereas the male team, if the male team is down, they are most likely to lose. And the Copa Queens, they know how to hold a lead. They actually even keep on pushing. Once they have a lead, let's say a 2 new lead or 3-1, like here they had a 3-1 lead, they still wanted more. They did not want to say 3-1 is all right and let's start defending now. Because defending is the worst way of keeping a win. The best form of defense is attack. And I think this is one thing that the Copa Queens do know. And that is what puts them above many other teams, if you look at them. So uh, the game continued. It continued, and I think the next goal was scored. was a brilliant goal that was scored. I think this was uh, the next goal that was scored. Uh, but we had some difficulties. But still, 
this was the next quarter of squad that Zambia was four, Comoros one. And from here, we knew that it was all sealed because this was the 75th minute and the game was 4-1. So even if you come back, coming back from here is never possible. It's rare for teams to come back in such kind of instances. So this was a sealed game for Zambia, but they still did not want to relent. As I said, that the Copa of Queens do not relent. They always want to score more when they have the chance to do that, you know? which is a fighting spirit for Zambia that we should imp implant in the male team as well as they participate soon in the Kosafa Cup as well, which is starting. And the male team so far is doing fine as well, I can tell you, because now we qualify to the Africa Cup of Nation, the draw which will take place on Thursday, this Thursday. And I think Zambia is in the third lot with South Africa. They are so which means we're not meeting South Africa, which is our neighbor and all these teams close by. So in the first lot, we've got Morocco, we've got Ivory Coast, and we've got Algeria, I think. So any of these would be good. I would like maybe to be with Morocco in the same group. Morocco or Ivory Coast, because Ivory Coast, we've got, we were in the same group for World Cup and we dealt with them very good. So we could de deal with them as well in this case. Now, yeah, back to the game to the Copa Queens. Sorry, I diverted to the male team because, you know, when I talk about the female team, I always get back to talk about the male national team as well, which also performs very well sometimes. Because at the moment, I think this year, the male team might actually even go to the World Cup. We might actually qualify to the World Cup. There's a very high chance, even though we are in the same group as Morocco for that. And the Morocco male team is very good. You saw what they did. They actually almost went to the semi-final of the World Cup for the first time, which has opened many doors for Africa. Because because of their ability as Africa, representing Africa, to go to the uh, close to semi-finals, the teams in Africa are now eight. 10, I think, 8 to 10 that I picked now from 5 now. There are much more than that. So the Copa Queens got a penalty, and this penalty made it 5-1. So at this moment, it was a bloodbath for Comoros. But hey, they are used. We are used to beating Comoros, and I think they knew that, that this was going to happen. They prepared their best, I'm sure, but they knew that this was going to happen because miracles, real life is not fairy tales where you just win from nowhere and all that. When it comes to football, preparation skill or how they play in the, in the game and Comoros is are just new to football as compared to Zambia they are not on the same level when it comes to football I love Comoros and uh, they've got the fighting spirit but uh, the Copa Queens kept on attacking even here where they are five one they still wanted to score more goals that's what I was talking about even before I hope you can get what I was trying to say before even after that they still wanted to score more more goals and that's a recommendable spirit that is needed in a soccer player, you know. This one was almost a goal, but uh, alas, it was missed because the player, you know, the keeper was vigilant for this one. And kudos to the keeper for that. It was really, really uh, great that it was that way. Uh, so this is after 90 minutes. And uh, I think that was the last shot of the game. That was the last attack of the game. And the referee pronounced the game to be game over as it was. So thank you very much for watching. This is Maxwell with Z Gambit here to give you best of news and best of highlights. Thank you and wonderful day to you. Subscribe, share and like.